Hi guys and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm going to be going through villager trading and what the best way to get emeralds uh, for all your trading needs are and I'm going to go through what each of the different villagers will trade from the maximum to the minimum amount of everything. So I've got all the villagers out here set in their different colours so we will just start over here with our farmers. So each of our types of villagers has an option for you to earn emeralds except the green coat one at the end there. Now each of them has a different amount of trades. Some only have one as you can see here but some have multiple trades uh, giving you lots of different options for earning emeralds. So we're going to go through them one by one. So we're going to start over here we have a fisherman. Now with a fisherman you can trade string for emeralds and you can also trade coal for emeralds. Um, now the string you can get between 15 and 20 string per emerald. So if you're really lucky and end up with a fisherman that has got 15 string for one emerald, that's the lowest you can possibly get. And the same with coal, between 16 and 24. You can see this guy is quite an expensive one, so it will cost 23 coal for one emerald. But you can get lucky and get one that has only cost 16 coal per emerald. Now this guy does sell a few different things, um, it's not really the most useful but if you give him 6 raw fish and an emerald you will get 6 cooked fish from him. He also sells enchanted fishing rods, now if you're planning on building an AFK fish farm or just going generally fishing it can be useful if you get a decent trade. Now the enchantments on it are completely random. So you could get lucky and end up with one with uh, some good enchantments on or you could be unlucky. Now they always cost 7 or 8 emeralds no matter what the enchantment is. So that is the fisherman. So now moving on to the next one we have a shepherd here. Now this one only trades wool. And as you can see we have 16 white wool for one emerald. Now we only trade white wool for emeralds so if you've got any other colours it won't actually work. So you need six, between 16 and 22 wool per trade and it also sells shears for three emeralds and then he has all the different types of wool for sale. Now this is quite expensive because it costs either one or two emeralds for one um, piece of wool. So it might work out, if you've actually got sheep, it might work out cheaper just to dye the sheep and, you know, if you've not got enough iron, buy some shears, works out cheaper. But they are the only options for the shepherd. So if we move on now, we have probably the most useful villager for emerald trading, and that is the farmer. Now this guy has a lot of sale trades. So you can actually trade wheat, potatoes, carrots, pumpkins and melons to him for emeralds. Which does make it quite easy to get. Especially if you've got your farms, they're easy to grow. I find the best trades being the pumpkin and the melon trades. So if we go through this now, wheat. You can end up with a trade of wheat between 18 and 22. You can see this guy has got the lowest. We have an 18 wheat trade here. Potatoes between 15 and 19, carrots between 15 and 19, pumpkins can be as low as 8 pumpkins each or up to 13 and melons are set between 7 and 12. We go through if you get really lucky and end up with a farmer with a lot of low trades this is really good especially if one of the trades locks up it gives you lots more options to actually reset the villager. So it also has a lot of things you can buy as well. So if we go through these now, we have the option to buy bread for one emerald. Um, now it will be between two and four bread, so it's different each time. Between two and three pumpkin pies. As you can see here, we've got two pumpkin pies for one emerald. We then also have between five and seven apples for one emerald between 6 and 10 cookies or biscuits for one emerald and then one emerald for one cake and that is all the farmer's trades. Now the next one we've got here is the Fletcher. This one also trades string 
between 15 and 20. Um, but that is the only option for him for getting emeralds. He also sells arrows, one emerald for 8 to 12 arrows. And then he sells a bow. It is just a plain non-enchanted bow, which costs two or three emeralds. And then he will sell flint. You have to give him ten gravel and one emerald. And he will give you between six and ten flint. Now the next one is probably one of the most important villagers for... Not for necessarily for getting emeralds, but for using your emeralds to spend. And this is the librarian. Now he is a white coat. He has the option of trading paper for emeralds between 24 and 36. You can trade books to him. We can find it here. So we've got eight books for one emerald. Now that will be between eight and ten. You can trade written books to him. So these are a book and quill which you have written and signed. And two of them will get you one emerald. And that is it for the emerald trades now he does have a lot of things to sell so this guy will have three enchanted books so if we go through these are completely random and can be anything from five emeralds up to 64 emeralds depending on the level of the book so if we go through this you can see he has his first enchanted book trade here we also sell a compass, which will be between eight, uh, between ten and twelve emeralds for one compass. He sells bookshelves, which will be three or four emeralds each. He sells a clock, as you can see up here, is usually between ten and twelve emeralds. He sells between three and five glass for one emerald, and then we have two more enchanted book trades. Again, these are random, but they are further on, so you have to unlock these. So we have our second enchanted book trade, then our third enchanted book trade. And then finally, he will sell a name tag, which is between 10 and 22 emeralds. Now the next white coat is our cartographer. Now this guy will sell emeralds for paper, exactly the same as the librarian, it will be 24 to 36 paper. And he also sells emeralds for one compass. So if you make these, it's fine, but it's not really resource friendly to buy an emerald, buy a compass from a librarian and then sell it to our cartographer. Now this guy also sells empty maps for 7 to 11 emeralds. And he also sells the ocean explorer map, which costs one compass and between 12 and 20 emeralds. And he sells the woodling explorer maps which costs one compass and between 16 and 28 emeralds. Now, I don't actually have them two trades on here because it's a super flat world, so there isn't any of them structures in. But in a normal survival world, they will show up after the empty map. So our next villager is our cleric. Now, this guy is the one you trade rotten flesh to. So if you have a mob farm or a really good way of getting rotten flesh, then this guy is also useful. Now it does cost between 36 and 40 rotten flesh for one emerald, um, but he also sells emeralds for gold ingots, so if you're between 9 and 10 gold per emerald. Now this guy then sells redstone dust between 1 and 4 per emerald, lapis between 1 and 2 lapis per emerald, and then he has ender pearls, which you can see up here, 4 to 7 emeralds per ender pearl. One up to three glowstone will cost you one emerald. And then he also sells the bottle of enchanting. Right as his last trade here, which will cost between three and eleven emeralds for one bottle of that. So next we move on to our black coats. Now these black apron guys have the same trades. So they all have coal, iron ingots and diamonds uh, to earn emeralds from. And each of them will cost 16 to 24 coal. For one emerald, seven to nine iron ingots for one emerald, and three or four diamonds for one emerald. As you can see there and there. Now each of them sell different things. So first here we've got the armor. 
And he will sell an iron helmet for between four and six emeralds, an iron chest plate for 10 to 14 emeralds, enchanted diamond chest plates between 16 and 19 emeralds, then the full chain armor set, which is unenchanted. So the boots between five and seven emeralds, the leggings between nine and 11 emeralds, the helmet between seven, five and seven emeralds, and the chest plates between 11 and 15 emeralds. And that is his full trades. Now the next one we have the weaponsmith. Again, he does coal, iron ingots and diamonds, but this guy sells iron axes for six to eight emeralds, enchanted iron swords, which are random enchantments, which is between nine and 10 emeralds, enchanted diamond swords between 12 and 15 emeralds and enchanted diamond axes for nine to 12 emeralds. So you can see here, we have a random enchantments again. Now our last one is our toolsmith. Again, coal, iron ingots and diamonds are his emerald trades. This guy also sells enchanted iron shovels, which is random between five and seven emeralds, and an enchanted iron pickaxe for nine to 11 emeralds. And his final trade then is the enchanted diamond pickaxe for 12 to 15 emeralds. Next, we have our white coat villagers. Now, there are two of these, which is the leather worker and the butcher. <clears throat> I will apologize about my voice. I'm just getting over a cold for this. Um, so this guy trades leather between nine and 12 leather for one emerald. Then he sells leather pants for two to four emeralds. These are non-enchanted. He also sells an enchanted leather tunic between 7 and 12 emeralds. And then his final trade is a saddle for 8 to 10 emeralds. Then we have our butcher. He sells uh, his emeralds for raw pork chops, raw chicken or coal. So the raw pork chop or chicken will cost you 14 to 18 of each item for one emerald. There and there. Then we have coal, which is 16 to 24 coal for one emerald. Then he also sells five to seven cooked pork chops for one emerald, six to eight cooked chicken for one emerald. And that is all his trades done. Now the final villager is the nitwit. Now this is the green coat and he doesn't have any trades. So the only use for this one really is if you are looking for villager breezing. Um, because he can be used in that sense. But for trading, this guy is useless. He has no right click option. He will just do nothing, really. But that is all the trades, the maximum and minimums. Now, if you are looking for the best way to get emeralds, um, I would suggest trying to get a farmer because this guy is the fastest way to get emeralds, especially if you've got all your farms or automatic farms would be even better so if i get these out here you can see <clears throat> just from having one stack of each of the items that he trades if i trade these in you can then see the amount of emeralds you get just from all his different trades so we have 23 emeralds on this one just from one stack of each of them. Um, if you have a mob farm and can produce a lot of rotten flesh, you know, this is a good backup. Um, and since you will generally be doing villager trading for the books, um, having a sugarcane farm and trading paper to a librarian is also really good. Now, if you do have the option to have all of the different villagers or multiple of each of the different villagers, you know, that's kind of really good as well. Then if you've got extras of anything, extra leather, extra coal, things you don't need, you know, it can always trade them. But this guy is the best for getting emeralds and getting them fast. So that is all I've got time for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you did like the video. And always, as always, don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time.